Bienvenue à tous et merci de nous rejoindre pour cette nouvelle édition de l'interview interview exclusive. Aujourd'hui, puisque je reçois deux invités prestigieux, tout d'abord le président du Zimbabwe, Emerson Mangagua, qui a accepté de nous accorder cette interview pour Africa 24. Bienvenue, monsieur le président, et merci d'avoir accepté notre invitation. Et puis également à mes côtés, Zain Virgi, ancienne présentatrice et correspondante de CNN. Bienvenue, merci d'être avec nous. Merci. Monsieur le Président, euh, l'Afrique est confrontée à plusieurs euh, défis pour améliorer le bien-être de ses populations, notamment dans le cadre de l'agenda 2063 de l'Union africaine, des défis euh, qui nécessitent une mobilisation importante euh, des ressources. Quelles sont les solutions de financement qui s'offrent à vous aujourd'hui Primarily, we are agreed as African leaders that we do our best to finance our programs for the modernization, industrialization of our continent from our own domestic resources. However, there is no need to invent the wheel. We should be able to create a conducive economic environment in our respective states in order to attract global capital to help us leapfrog and catch up with other developed countries in the world. What kind of an enabling environment do you wish to see created for attracting that kind of capital? Critically, global capital will go where it knows it is safe, it is guaranteed in terms of its returns and taking the returns out of the country of investment back to where they are uh, uh, stationed as, a, as, a, as their capital. Those are some of the requirements which they want and the protection of rights of our investments. All those issues are critical. Now, for every single Af member state of the AU has to be competitive in providing such an environment in order for that country to attract the global capital to come. But above all, and above all that, it is still necessary that we look within the continent and say what resources do we have and what method To, should we use to benefit from our domestic resources to grow our own economies and to modernize our own economies? And what, what, is, in terms of, yes. and what does that look like to you? I believe that um, the current crop of African leaders uh, on the continent are quite uh, awake to the issue that we must be independent. Even if we need support from outside, we should avoid such support which has strings tying us. We must remain independent, both politically and economically, in our pursuit to develop our economies. What are Zimbabwe's clean energy priorities? Given, uh, we, while we're respecting the fact that Zimbabwe has also had to endure many years of sanctions, how do you see it as Zimbabwe's leader today? What are your priorities? We do have abundance of coal, but we know the limitations of thermal power. We also now are aware that we have uh, uh, gas in Zimbabwe. So we also need to develop and acquire or attract technology and the capital to exploit the gas resources which we have in our region. But beyond that, we also have uh, hydro, potential hydro plants to be built or expanded in our region. But for Zimbabwe in particular, we have schemes currently now to develop hydro, which is actually cheaper uh, for the purpose of uh, driving our industry, as well as making sure uh, we reach the remote parts of our country to benefit our population. For we need that uh, our people should not remain behind as we strive to modernize and catch up with the rest of the developing countries. Monsieur le Président, euh, un projet économique est mis en œuvre par l'Union africaine. Il s'agit de la zone de libre-échange continentale, la ZLECAF. Quelles vont être, d'après vous, les retombées pour le Zimbabwe We have been, as a, as a continent, been put into silos, being tied to our colonial masters. The uh, Africa continental free trade area has now uh, freed us from the silo mentality which we were before. We have now created 
a, a nearly two billion market for Africa. So it is necessary that with the resources which we have, we develop trade, inter-trade among ourselves, lower tariffs among ourselves, so that uh, uh, before we look beyond the continent, there is enough market uh, of over two billion people within Africa. So this is where we want to go. And what about health? Uh, how does the Continental Free Trade Area Agreement benefit Zimbabwe, for example, in the area of health um, and pharmaceutical uh, uh, products and, and more affordability, for example? How do you see it benefiting Zimbabwe from a health standpoint? We look at the uh, overall economy. And some African states are more suitable to drive some aspects of the economy than others. So it is necessary that uh, we have member states uh, driving the development of pharmaceuticals in our respective countries so that within the uh, African continent and the free trade area, we have champion African states developing pharmaceuticals for the benefit of uh, the continent and the member states. L'agenda 2063 de l'Union africaine euh, est, est en place, est en, euh, le, le processus est en route. Euh, le Zimbabwe a obtenu un résultat de 39% d'objectifs atteints, une bonne performance en comparaison euh, des, des performances globales africaines. Euh, quelles sont les réformes entreprises par le Zimbabwe Yes, we have uh, opened up, we have liberalized across our economy. We have removed legislation which was restrictive in relation to attracting investment into our country. Uh, the question of the easy and the cost of business has also been addressed and we continue to address that issue so that we become competitive uh, in attracting uh, foreign investment or global capital into our country. These are the reforms which we are looking at. We say why should capital uh, global capital go to country A and not to country B and not to us. And we look at the attractiveness in other jurisdictions which then we take on board in our own jurisdiction in order to uh, uh, have similar competitive Environment. Merci d'avoir été avec nous. Et Zain Virgi, merci également d'avoir participé à, à, à ce débat. Et merci à vous de nous avoir suivis. N'oubliez pas, vous pouvez retrouver cette émission et tous nos autres programmes sur www.africa24tv. Et à bientôt pour un nouveau rendez-vous de l'interview.